a resonant DC link inverter. In resonant DC link inverter, a resonant circuit is connected between the DC input voltage and the PWM inverter so that the input voltage to the inverter oscillates between zero and a value slightly greater than twice the DC input voltage. The resonant link, which is similar to the class E inverter, is shown here, where I0 is the current drawn by the inverter. Assuming a lossless circuit, that is the resistance R equals to zero, the link voltage Vc is given by the Vs 1 minus cos omega naught t, let it be question number 1, and the inductor current IL equals to Vs square root of C by L sine omega naught t plus I naught, let it be 2. Under lossless condition, the oscillation will continue and there will be no need to turn on the switch S. In our case, the switch is a transistor Q. But in practice, there will be power loss in R and IL will be a damped sound solder. And the switch is turned on to bring the current to the initial level. The value of R is small and the circuit is under damped. Under these conditions, IL is given by approximately equal to I0 plus E power minus omega t of Vs by omega L sine omega t plus IL0 minus I0 cos omega t that is be equation number 3 where i l naught is the initial inductor current that is here and i naught is the inverter current and the difference between these two is i m which is nothing but i l naught minus i naught here and the capacitor voltage v c approximately equals to v s plus e power minus alpha t not omega here also alpha t of omega l I L naught minus I naught sine omega t minus V S cos omega t. Let this be equation number four. Now the waveforms. The initial current is I L naught. The voltage across the switch V t, which is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor. Also here we can say V c. This will start increasing according to the I L and reaches a maximum value when the IL is at I0 and then starts decreasing as the current decreases and it becomes zero here. When this voltage becomes zero, then the switch need to be turned on. When the current reaches this value of IL, the switch can turn off here so that the voltage again starts building. And this will follow as it is before here. The switch is turned on when the capacitor voltage falls to a zero and is turned off when the current IL reaches the value of initial that is IL naught. Now it can be noted that the capacitor voltage depends only on the difference between IL naught and IE naught, which is nothing but I am, rather than the load current I naught only. Thus, the control circuit should monitor. IL0 minus I0 when the switch is conducting and turn off the switch when the desired value of IM is reached. The DC link resonance cycle is normally started with a fixed value of initial capacitor current. This causes the voltage across the resonant DC link to exceed 2 Vs. And all the inverter devices are subjected to high voltage stress. An active clamp, as shown in this circuit, can limit the link voltage as shown here. The clamp factor K is related to the tank period of Tk and resonant frequency omega naught equals to 1 divided by root Lc given by F naught divided by Fk equals to tank period multiplied by the resonant frequency omega naught which is given by 2 times of cos inverse 1 minus k plus square root of k of 2 minus k divided by k minus 1. That is, for a fixed value of k, tk can be determined for a given resonant circuit. For k equals to 1.5, the tank period tk should be 7.69 
equal to of LC. The three phase diesel ink inverter is as shown in the figure. The fixed inverter devices are gated in such a way as to set up periodic oscillations on the DC link LC circuit. The devices are turned on and off at a zero link voltages, thereby accomplishing losses, turn on and turn off of all the devices. The waveforms for the link voltage and the inverter line to line voltages are as shown in this figure. This is regarding the resonant DC link inverter. If this video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.